Hey everybody, so today I am filming a January haul and this was requested by quite a few people so I figured I would do one and I have bought a ton of stuff in the month of January and um, I'm going to try and include the stuff that I got in New York which was the beginning of January um, so it's been a while so I don't remember everything that I got so I tried to pull as much from my closet that I remember um, and yeah, I'm going to try and film this for you guys. It is going to be a quite long haul because, I, like I said, I have gotten a lot of stuff. So bear with me or X out if you don't want to deal with a long haul. Um, but I'm just going to start with makeup products and, like, beauty products. So I'm going to start with the stuff that I got in New York. Um, they're both from MAC because we don't have a MAC store where I live anymore. So I figured I would just go while I was in New York. Um, and the first thing I got was MAC's lipstick in Velvet Teddy. This is a matte lipstick, and I can swatch it for you guys. It's like a brownie nude color, and I was hoping it would look really nice on me. It is the color that like Kylie Jenner has made famous, um, but I'm not quite sure if I like it yet. I've tried it on a few times and just not. I've been sort of midway on it whether I like it or not, so I'm going to have to keep trying it and keep trying different lip liners underneath it to see if I can find a combination that I love because I really want to get enough wear out of this that I can justify it. Um, but I did pick that up. And the next item was actually a gift, so I didn't actually buy it. Um, it was a gift from the person that we stayed with in New York, which was super sweet because not only were they letting us stay with them, but they bought us a gift as well. Bought me one and bought um, Candace one, who you guys know is my best friend. Um, and basically it is a MAC pigment set. This is the holiday pigment set um, that's not sold anymore. But um, he got it for us, and it was so nice. Um, basically, it is just five pigments, and this is the one that I've been using the most, which I don't think these have names. This one, oh, this one is called Naked. Oh, so you see the bronze? Um, and then it comes with, this one's just called Gold. It's just a gold glitter. And then it has Copper Sparkle, which is a really, really, really fine copper pigment and then it comes with a black glitter which is super cool and I think this one is just called black yes this is just a black glitter which is awesome so I was super super happy that we got those um, it was an amazing amazing gift so yeah I love that the next few things I actually got recently these are from Lush and I haven't ever made a purchase from Lush except for the natural deodorant that I made um, or got from Lush and I tried both of their natural deodorants and really liked the both of them um, but then I switched to a different one and you guys know I'm super into natural deodorant um, and so I figured I might as well try natural stuff for my face and body so I got the 9 to 5 cleansing lotion which is an oil an almond oil lotion for taking off makeup and this is really 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 similar to the Mario Badescu rice milk lotion that I used or mentioned a while ago and I didn't really fall in love with that um, it just was difficult for, for me to remove personally because um, I'm used to using water on my face but this is way more liquidy it's a little bit finer um, and so I think I like this more than I like the Mario Badescu one but it's basically the same thing so if you don't want to order from Lush or if you don't have a Lush near you um, you can try out the Mario Badescu one that I've mentioned in past videos because it's pretty much the same deal it's an oil lotion to remove makeup so I picked that up I also picked up the Mask of Magnamenti, which is a face and body or face and back pack, um, and basically it's a mint paste face mask. Um, I love, love, love this stuff. It's amazing. Um, it's supposed to clean out your skin or clean out your pores and scrub your skin, exfoliate it a bit. And I think it does that perfectly. Um, it's a huge container size. I think it was in the 20s. I think was the price range for this. Um, but I think it's definitely worth it for how much you get and how much you actually end up using, which is slim to none. Um, so I love this stuff. And I also picked up the Imperialis Facial Moisturizer. I needed a face moisturizer, and I was getting really tired of going through a bunch of drugstore ones and then not doing anything to moisturize my skin. I love this stuff. It has changed my life. It's supposed to balance out your skin if you have combination skin, which I have. I have oily patches and I have really, really, really dry patches. So I could never find a moisturizer that worked. And this is suitable for um, basically every skin type, but it's mostly made for combination skin. It's supposed to even out your skin sort of chemistry. And I 
feel like it's literally done that. Maybe I'm buying into the gimmick, but I feel like it's done exactly that. Um, my skin is sort of in between now. It's not oily, but it's not super, super dry either. So I'm really, really, really happy about this. And once I run out or it expires, I'm definitely going to buy another one. And the next couple products are things that I bought in stores recently. Um, the first is from Sephora. I decided to just splurge because why not, um, and get some new products. I had to get a new eyeliner because I ran out of my old lip liner and decided to try a new one. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the one color it comes in, which is like black. I think this is Trooper is what it's called. Um, and I love this. Basically, it's a felt tip, brush tip um, applicator, and it's super, super, super tiny and really fine pointed, so it works. Like, it's so... Fine. Like I don't know if you can even see that line, it's that fine. So it's really, really, really good for going into the inner corner and making a really sharp wing. And everyone's been complimenting me on my winged eyeliner recently. So I think this is what's doing the trick. So I'm in love with this. Um, and it dries really quickly and it's waterproof. So it is a win-win-win in my book. And I also decided to splurge on some brow stuff. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, which everyone raves about in soft brown is the color that I got it in and I've been using this every day. I'm wearing it now on my brows. I really love the way this looks. I think it makes my brows look really, really neat but also really natural. I was worried about them looking too fake with it but I think um, I think it works to the exact right extent of which I want it to work. So I am in love with this um, and I definitely recommend it. I think they were both around 20 bucks um, but I think they're totally worth it. They're really, really great products. And this is what I bought today, makeup-wise. Um, the first is the Salon Perfect Demi Wispies. This is just a four-pack set. I got out of lashes and decided, hmm, maybe I want to go back into lashes. So um, I'm going to go back in with the Demi Wispies because the Demi Wispies are the most natural lashes you can probably buy. Um, and these aren't the Ardell ones, but they're Salon Perfect, basically the same thing. Um, so yeah, back into lashes for me. Um, the Demi Wispies, in fact. So I picked those up today, and I also picked up a Duo Clear. Um, you guys know I love Duo Black, but I also really, really like the Clear um, nowadays. So I'm gonna try out, I just got another bottle because I ran out, so. That is all that I picked up beauty and face wise, and now I'm gonna move into the clothes, which I, guess, I know you guys wanted to see the most. Okay, so I'm going to start off with shoes, because I only have one pair of shoes that I bought recently, in January at least. And if you follow me on Instagram, a lot of these clothes are things you've probably already seen because I have worn a bunch of them already. Um, some of them I just recently got in the mail so I haven't worn them, but most of these things I have worn. And the first are my babies. These are my Nike Roche Runs. I have the black, white, metallic color, metallic platinum, which is the color of the stripe. I wanted black, white, bolt, which meant that the stripe would be white. Um, but metallic platinum is close enough. They're still absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, these are the Nike restaurants and everybody and their mother has these shoes and they are I think $80. They were pretty expensive, but I have wanted them literally forever um, and I finally got my hands on them. So I am in love with these. I haven't worn them a ton because I actually didn't have any no-show socks and so you can see socks coming out of them and it just wasn't cute, but I bought them today so you will be seeing these in a ton of outfits coming up soon. I think they're so, so cute. Um, and they're really, really comfy too. So I am in love. These are my babies. Um, and I bought those recently. Um, and then I'm just going to go into two little random bralettes um, that you have seen me wear and seen on my Instagram. Um, the first is this halter bralette. And it's all twisted up. But basically, it's just one of the um, Urban Outfitter halter bralettes. And it's in black. And of course it's in black because everything I wear is in black. Um, and it just is a halter and then it has a clasp at the back. Um, and I'm planning on getting it in white and gray um, because I just, I wear this so often. It looks amazing under v-neck tees where you can see a little bit of the lace peeking out here and like up here. Um, it looks really great under um, halter tops where the lace peeks out over the side. Um, I mean turtlenecks, sorry. And it looks great in halter tops as well. Um, so I've just been wearing the crap out of this. And they're, I mean, they're a little bit expensive for bralettes, but not bad if you wear it as much as I do. So I got that. And then the other bralette, which you guys have seen, is my Calvin Klein's. Um, everyone and their mother also has the Calvin Klein bralettes. And so I could not convince myself to get it just because it was 25 per 
bralette and bottoms and I wanted the matching set if I was gonna get it but I got a coupon code for $25 off this site that sells them and it seemed like a gimmick but I was like, okay I'll just try it and I ended up getting the top and the bottoms for $28 including shipping um, so I do have the matching boy shorts to this um, I'm just not showing them but um, I got the white and now I want to get the black, um, so I might do that soon. But if you want to get these for $28 for the pair or you can get them for $8, aka free, you only have to pay shipping um, if you just want the top or the bottom, uh, let me know and I will send you an, a code. If you comment below, I'll tell you how to get the code. Um, but yeah, I'm in love. I'm so excited to wear this under crop tops and sheer shirts and things like that. Um, so super, super awesome, super excited about that as well. And moving forward into Brandy Melville, um, I only have three things from Brandy Melville. Basically, I wanted to go to Brandy Melville in New York. I went the last time I went to New York, and then I didn't get anything. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go this time, and I'm gonna get something. So I went while I was in New York. We went to the one in Soho, and um, I picked up this baby. Um, I only got one thing, <laughs> really not exciting. But this is the Milan top. Um, it has cuffed sleeves, and it's really thin and so soft. Um, and it has a high-low side with a slit. I love this top, it's a v-neck. Um, and I just thought I would wear it a ton, and I have worn it a ton. Um, it looks amazing. And super flattering, super comfy, super everything. So yeah, I picked this up. Um, I think they're $18, which is, it's not that bad. Um, but I got that from the Brandy Melville in New York, and I loved it so much that I thought, I will order online for Brandy Melville, because I think their shipping is now at a flat rate of $5, which is awesome. So I got this, and I just noticed my tag is ripped, so that's fun. I got the gray version from um, online. So this is, once again, the Milan top in gray. It's the same exact top, um, just in gray. And then I thought, well, I have white and gray. I gotta get black. <laughs> so here's the black. And this is a slightly different cut. This is not the Milan, because they don't offer the Milan in black, but this is basically the same sort of deal. It's like an oversized cuff sleeves and then it has a slit in the side it's just not as high low as the milan is but it's in black so black white and gray my essentials of course so i picked those up um, and i'm in love with those so if you're looking for some really really great like oversized comfy t-shirts check out brandy melville um and the one size is true it fits me oversized and i wear a large usually in clothing so um the next things i got next couple things i got are from american apparel um, basically, I got these both when I was shopping the friends and family sale, um, and I think both of them ended up having to ship from a real retail store, but I got some great deals on them, so it was totally worth the wait, um, and I think both of these have been on Instagram. The first, um, I Instagrammed the other day, it's my most recent Instagram, these are my riding pants, and I already, as you guys know, have the riding pants in black, but I wear those all the time, and I thought I would get them in Hope. I also got them in a size smaller, which I think makes them fit a little better. Um, my black ones are an extra large, and they fit really well. They're super tight, but um, I think the larges fit me a bit better in the waist. Um, I just think they're tighter, and they just look a lot better when they're a size down. So maybe don't size up like I did. Um, get your normal size. And um, these were an amazing deal. Um, I think riding pants are originally 78, which is what I paid for my black pair, but these were on sale for 37. Um, and then, yeah, I think I got, the, I think I paid 40 something in total, including the shipping. So these were on sale for $37, which is basically the only reason why I got them, because I probably wouldn't have gotten them if they weren't so cheap, but I thought, oh, why not? So. I got them in taupe, which I love. I'm so excited to wear them. I haven't worn them yet, but I'm going to get a ton of wear out of those. And the next are my new babies. These are my American Apparel high-waisted jeans, and they are called high-waisted jeans. I think these are the medium wash um, ones. And funny story is I went to the American Apparel in New York and tried on the black pair, and I hated the way they looked. Um, I just thought they looked weird on me, and I told my friend that because I was going to buy them. Um, then I think they're $90 so I couldn't convince myself to pay $90 for pants that I did not like of course um, so I waited and then the family and friends sale came out and I thought okay I'm gonna take a leap of faith and say that it was just the color um, 
not the cut, so I got them in the medium wash during the fam's family and friends sale. And they are originally 90, but I think I paid 60, 50 or 60, um, which is still a lot for jeans. But as you guys know, I pay a decent amount of money for jeans just because it, I have such a hard time finding a pair that I like, so I usually pay a lot for them. Um, so yeah, these are high waisted. They are really really tight up until the calves which is what I thought was weird about the black pair but they look really good cuffed so I love the way these fit they fit really well on the waist um, and they are my babies so I'm super glad I took the leap of faith and got them in a different color um, so I probably will never get them in a black color but I do want to try and get them in the dark color and the super light wash color when they have a sale again because I probably wouldn't pay $90 for these full price because I like them, I just don't like them that much, but I would pay $60 for them again, because that's what I pay for my ASOS jeans, so it's not a huge deal. So I also got something from Zara. Um, basically, Zara in New York, we went a little crazy. Um, there is a Zara on Fifth Ave that we went into, and I didn't get anything at the one on Fifth Ave, and then we went to a Zara in Soho, and um, that's where I got the item that I'm about to show you, I think. And then we went to another Zara after that, um, and I didn't get anything in that one, but uh, I wish I had picked up more at Zara because there was a ton of stuff that it was during their big sale or whatever, which is still going on online, by the way. Um, but oh well. So I got this, and it has shrunk, which makes me sad because it was longer. It is this dark gray, hunter green, forest green color knit. It's from the Zara knit line. And what I love about this is the leather sleeves, and they're lined with suede. So it, they are the comfiest sleeves ever and if you cuff them it's like you have knit leather and suede and it's perfect so um i did pick this up i think it was on sale for 30 dollars um so yeah i am in love with this it's really really easy to just throw on over leggings and wear it with boots um so i picked this up from zara and then I went to Express recently. I didn't go to Express in New York, but I went to Express where I live, and I picked up a couple things from their big sale that they have. Um, the first is this cami. It is just a regular cami. It's white. It's really, really, really long and oversized, and it has lace at the bottom. I still haven't figured out how to wear this now. Um, I know how to wear it in the summer. I'm just going to wear it with like shorts, um, and it'll be a really easy thing to throw on with like shorts and a bralette and just look cute. Um, but the lady told me to wear it with a sweater, and I thought about that, but every sweater that I've tried it on with, it looks sort of weird. So I'm not sure if I'll get anywhere out of that this winter, but I think it was $7, so. I also got this, which ended up being $10, which is awesome. It's this oversized, I didn't get it oversized, it's a large, um, and I could have easily won, worn a medium, but I, got, I wanted it oversized. And it's this cream sweater, um, and it's high-low v-neck, which I love, and it also has these zippers on the side, um, which do actually zip so I think that's probably the coolest part about it um, I just love that little detail on the side I love things that are really simple and have really cute details so I got that from Espress and I promise not too much longer I only have like three four more items um, the other thing that I got was from the top shop on Fifth Avenue um, and it, they were having a huge sale but I didn't see any clothes, honestly, that I liked that much. That was the first time that I'd ever been in a Topshop standalone store. Um, so I didn't find the thing, like, any clothes that I liked. I found a lot of accessories that I liked. Um, and I just didn't buy them just because I didn't have enough room in my suitcase to take them home with me. Um, or I probably would have gotten them. <laughs> so uh, the only thing I got was jewelry. And they were having a huge sale. I think their jewelry was 75% off. And they were selling three packs. So I think this three pack I paid... $11 for it, which is super cheap considering it's Topshop, um, and it just came with this black leather choker, um, which is super cute, and this little chain with a cross and like a rock bead that's multicolored, and I haven't worn that yet, um, and then it also came with this, which I thought looked fancy but also super edgy it's this suede cord with black or black suede cord with diamonds on it um, and it sort of lays like this it's not a choker but it's close to and they look really really cute layered with other necklaces I'm super into layering detailed necklaces so that's mostly why I got that because um, as you can see I'm wearing today I'm wearing three necklaces this has been my go-to 
trio here. I basically wear it with every outfit. If you check my Instagram, you'll see it on every outfit. Um, this one's from Urban, and Candace got it for me for Christmas. This is my normal cross necklace that I've been wearing for six years now. Six years? Yeah, about six years. Um, and this is from Forever 21. It's just a Laureate necklace um, for Forever 21. But I love wearing necklaces, so that's basically why I got that. Um, the next couple things are from Necessary Clothing. The first I surprisingly haven't worn yet. Um, I think I may be have worn it once. It was on sale. It was, I think, $10. And it's just this huge cardigan. Um, it is oversized and has dolman sleeves, which are super cute on a cardigan. And it's black, white, and gray, of course. When is my stuff not black, white, and gray? Um, and then the other thing that I got is this jacket. And I have worn this a ton if you look at my Instagram. And um, I've gotten a ton of compliments in person and on Instagram about it. Um, it is a buffalo check jacket. And I love the buffalo check pattern. And I was going to get one for Forever 21. But then I saw this in necessary clothing on sale for like $10. And I almost cried because I was like, thank you. Um, and thought it was perfect. So I picked this up. It fits me oversized even though... It's large, it fits me oversized. It, it was a pain in the tail to bring back with me, but totally worth the pain. Um, and the last thing I got is from Mango. And this is from their casual line. It's also a medium. For some reason, I keep getting small sizes in sweaters, but this is a huge sweater. And it's super, super thin. Um, and it's like this gray muted brown color, which is mostly why I got it, because I don't have anything this color. Um, but it's really... I didn't try it on <laughs> like an idiot because it was on sale and I was like, okay, whatever. Um, but it doesn't really fit me right. So I haven't worn it a ton, but um, whenever I'm like lazy, I'll put on a cami and put this on and put like a vest or a jacket over top and call it a day. But I don't like how it works on me unless I do that. So that is basically it for my haul. I know I did a lot of talking and there's a lot of clothing and it's super long. But I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways, um, and I do have a lookbook planned, and I'm going to film it tomorrow, which is awesome, um, and hopefully get it up midweek um, if I can find the time to edit it. But I do have a lookbook planned, and then after that, I'm hopefully going to do a makeup tutorial, because I know I've been promising that to you guys, but just an update on sort of where my channel's going. I think I'm going to start transitioning into more of a fashion channel, just because I don't... I still freelance makeup on the side, but I don't do my own makeup all that crazy anymore. I don't do a lot with my makeup anymore, um, unless it's like a holiday or I'm going to a party or something. Um, so I don't really have a lot of like differentiating looks to show you guys. So I think I'm going to transition more into a fashion channel because that's what I'm really into now is fashion and buying really cool pieces. Um, but I hope you guys forgive me for that. And if you don't want to stay subscribed because you're not into fashion, that's fine by me. I'm not here for the subscribers. I'm here to share my passion with you guys. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this try-on haul. And I will see you guys later.